You see, I always preach a flexible dieting approach. It's simply the most practical way to get to your fat loss goals, the most enjoyable. If I told you, you can never drink another drink again for the rest of your life if you wanna achieve your dream body, then guess what? Now, how many people would wanna achieve their dream body? It would just be boring and lame. Well, in today's video, I wanna go ahead and explain and show you how you can drink alcohol and still lose belly fat, get to your fat loss goals, get to your fitness goals, all right? Let's go. What's good YouTube? It's your boy John Mango and I'm here representing Beyond the Iron. I'm dropping weekly fitness content to help you get to your goals faster and more enjoyably. So if that's something you're interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button. Couple things, one, if you stay until the end of the video, I'm gonna actually give you a list of a few low calorie drinks that will make this whole process that I'm gonna explain to you much easier, facilitate that fat loss. And I wanna let you know that I dropped any and all studies that I refer to or use to back up the points I mentioned in this video at the bottom of the description. So check out the description description below. So why have people constantly for decades and years and years and everybody around you always blames alcohol for causing obesity? One of the main reasons why it makes you obese, right? Well, the simple fact is people forget the fact, which is calories in and calories out. Alcohol has calories. Now you may not be aware of this, but I always speak on macronutrients, carbs, proteins, fats. There's actually another macronutrient, it's alcohol, and yields seven calories per gram. If you recall, protein and carbs each yield four, whereas fats yield nine. So alcohol yields more calories than both protein and carbs. And as with anything else, a lack of awareness of calorie intake uh, that most people have, it makes it very easy for you to simply go over your daily caloric requirement which is going to result in fat gain over time. So for people that are having a few drinks every night, people always telling me, you know, the women at the studio or whatever, they'll always be like, oh, I love my wine. I love having my wine. It's like, listen, the wine is not making you fat. You can have the wine, but if you're having three, four, five glasses a night, it's gonna be a lot harder to stay within those calories. Actually, another thing that doesn't help the cause of alcohol and obesity is the fact that, and I've linked this below, a study that does correlate alcohol consumption with obesity, but just like videos I've made in the past, videos that are circulating recently, thankfully, of sugar correlating with rise of obesity, correlation does not imply causation, meaning just because sugar is going up doesn't mean that obesity is directly going up as a cause of that, okay? And same thing goes for alcohol, and there have been multiple studies put out since then because the one I linked below showing and essentially getting people around this idea that alcohol is the reason obesity is rising or one of the reasons why it's rising, it's so bad for you and all that stuff. Uh, there have been multiple studies to come out to actually track and show that the calorie intake, when controlled, will not make a significant difference if you're consuming some alcohol. So the first study, again, study context matters, right? If you make a study and you show correlation but you forget to mention or even track the fact that calories are at play here then it's gonna start showing some skewed results and of course the second you publish that study the second a company gets a hold of this that wants to go against alcohol or whatever the case is then hey next thing you know we're here now, one thing is pretty obvious if you are binge drinking you know several days of the week then yes the chances of you getting to your fitness goals whether you stay in the caloric deficit or not your fat loss goals whatever it's not gonna go over so well for you, okay? It's just a fact. The immense amount of physical detriment that you're doing to your body, psychological detriment you're gonna do to your body, if you're drinking that much, you're simply not dedicated to your fitness goals. Like, it's that simple, right? And it's just because of the uh, massive amount, the endless list of negative consequences that come with binge drinking and having too much alcohol, which of course we know at this point is unhealthy. You know, on top of that, it's gonna affect your workouts the next day, it could even affect workouts for the entire week after a night of binge drinking. Your sleep is gonna be affected for up to a week, sometimes even more, uh, which would impair your recovery and all that stuff. So again, if you are binge drinking and you're looking for the video that's gonna tell you, hey, you can binge drink all the time and still get to your fat loss goals, then this isn't the video for you. And I'm gonna be honest, 
I was there at one point. I used to binge drink very, very often when I was younger. And you know, I thought I could get away with it until I finally stepped back and realized, hmm, I've been working out for several years and I've seen no gains. And the second I started cutting down alcohol to a more moderate pace at least, now I hardly ever drink, but if you can get to a point where you're cutting it down and moderating it, then there's no reason why you can't achieve your fat loss goals or even surpass them and enjoy it more by doing so. So now let's go ahead and talk about how you can do this. I'm gonna just go over some methods. So the first one's gonna be the saving calories method. Now you're gonna be required to actually know how many calories you're intaking as well as track how many calories you've had throughout the day first before you can determine how many calories you're saving in order to minimize damage done when you go out for a night with the boys or the girls, you know, same thing. So uh, calorie saving method is essentially this. You know you can consume 2,000 calories, let's say, but uh, you know that you're going out later tonight or you plan on going out later, okay? You're gonna have some drinks. Let's even say you decide to binge drink. Fine, you know what? It's, it's gonna happen, right? So you decide that's gonna be the case, but you don't want to ruin all the progress you've had or you've made so far. So what you're gonna do is simply save a chunk of your calories for later on. You know, it's up to you to decide how much. Obviously, the more the better to an extent. So saving, let's say, 500 calories out of the 2,000, uh, will minimize damage done, okay? So when you go out and you have that alcohol, also take into account potential overeating or eating after you've drank alcohol because you gotta take that into account too to the fact that that may uh, ruin your progress as it's gonna count towards the calorie goal. So calorie saving method is my go-to because it's so simple so long as you're tracking calories and you're aware of how many calories you need. And by the way, if you aren't, you can actually click this video right here and it's gonna show you how to figure out how many calories your body needs. Needs. So the second method is intermittent fasting. Okay, very uh, popular, especially these days. I've made a video on that as well. And I'm all for intermittent fasting because it is essentially uh, the saving calories method, but sometimes in reverse, right? So you're saving the calories in the sense that you just start eating later on throughout the day, for example, or you have an eating window. And within that eating window, you restrict yourself to a certain amount of calories so that later on, if you do go out and you do drink or even binge drink, you can hopefully minimize the damage done to your weight gain or loss depending on whatever goal you're on now another thing you could do you know just to kind of tack on to both of those you could try tracking the alcohol itself and uh, this may sound like oh my god I'm gonna be that person in the club that would be like yeah, yeah yeah let me get two shots of Jager bomb hold on uh, how many calories is that though nobody's gonna do that right but you could just simply use your phone type into my fitness pal my favorite uh, app of choice when it comes to tracking calories they will have those drinks in here so you can at least have an idea of how many calories you're consuming. But that's gonna depend on how dedicated you are to drinking and getting to your fitness goals because it'd probably just be easier to focus on one or the other in that moment. But hey, the more dedicated you are, you could pull it off. But then arguably you could say, well, if I was that dedicated, I wouldn't be drinking in the first place, into which I would say, good point. All right, the next method is, uh, not binging, yeah, it's that simple. I mean, if you're binge drinking multiple days of the week, again, if you're binge drinking once a week even, once a week binge drinking, you're gonna hold yourself back from gains like you wouldn't believe, okay? You're thinking, well, it's just one night. Again, that's gonna stay in your system depending on how hard you go, how lit you get, it's gonna stay in your system for a long time. And then by the time it gets out of your system, you're doing it again. So binge drinking in general is so detrimental to your body and I hate to be that guy that says that because again I was there and I wanted to be cool and I was drinking like crazy and I was borderline alcoholic and all this stuff and you know what it's just not worth it you got to figure out what you're committed to and uh, you know prioritize from there so there's no need to binge drink you can go out you can have a couple drinks don't go over that limit and you know what you get to your fitness goals and you have a good time sounds like a good deal to me like let's put it this way if your personality is only gonna come out when you're drunk, then guess what? You need to fix your personality or you need to fix whatever anxiety or whatever's holding you back from expressing your true self when you're not drunk, okay? That's my personal opinion and I probably shouldn't be getting into this because this is a fitness channel and now I'm starting to veer off into a rabbit hole where people can just hate on me for no reason. And again, once you get to that point, just like me, I can go out to a club, to a bar, to anything and not have a single drink. People will think I'm the most drunk one there just because I'm bouncing off the walls so it's really just perspective it's really your personality and uh, it really isn't necessary at the end of the day one drink every night 
not gonna kill you, not gonna kill your results. As long as you're tracking it. If you're not tracking, yes, it's going to start fluctuating your results. So just be aware and have it in moderation and there's no reason why you can't enjoy that drink that you feel that you need at nighttime and still get to your fat loss goals. That is the whole purpose at the end of the day for flexible dieting. So that being said, I hope you understand now that yes, it is possible and uh, very possible to drink alcohol and still get to your fat loss goals. Is it ideal? To an extent, maybe not. If you can moderate and control yourself, it may be more ideal simply because it'll increase your adherence, right? So there's that. And now, as I promised you, I'm gonna give you five drinks that are very low calorie just to help you out if you decide you want to try this out yourself. So first we got gin and tonics. Then we got vodka sodas. Then we got tequila with lime juice. Yeah. Then we got champagne. And last but not least is gonna be rum and Diet Coke, or better yet, Rum and Coke Zero. So all those drinks, uh per one serving is gonna be roughly 100 calories, if not less, for some of them. So there you go, it's easy to find options that you can fit in within that uh, calorie budget of yours, and you know what, have a good time. People are gonna be wondering, how how do you drink? How do you go out and have a good time? But this person's fit and they have a life? That can't be, man, they must know something I don't. And be like, yeah, I watched John Mango's videos. And, and, and remember, that's 100 calories per one serving, not 10. And that's it for the video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. If you stayed until this point, uh, I hope I made this one a little shorter as that's what I'm trying to do. But uh, again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. Follow my Insta and DM me if you want me to respond even quicker and help you out personally. Uh, that's pretty much it though. Like I said, appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for weekly fitness content. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I'm wondering why. Let's go. You know I'm going to get you to your goals. Anyway, that's it. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.